Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. I've got with me today one of the most innovative fly rods to come out in the last 20 years, the Loop 7X. And we're gonna review it right now. So why a seven-sided design? The theory behind it is that this design will eliminate the spine effect and enhance power transfer throughout the rod. What we've seen is that it offers an ultra, ultra fast recovery and thereby increases accuracy exponentially. It's a really, really good rod. Before we go into the great features of this rod, I wanted to let you know we've got a lot of great reviews coming out this year, so please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. Another thing we're gonna be introducing with this review is the Poseidon Score which is a brand new scoring system, which allows you to compare this rod to other rods we reviewed in the past. Starting from the bottom, you'll see that Loop has really leaned into the seven side design, and even the real seat has seven sides. And that's actually really cool because the rings stay in place, so you're never fumbling around for where to seat your reel. It is a single up locking reel seat on this five weight, so definitely wanna make sure you cinch that down when you get on the river. Moving up, you've got a pretty standard reversed half wells grip. It's got some of this composite cork to add durability on either end, but really nothing super special here. Then we get to the blank, and it's a really nice looking rod, but you'll notice right away that, again, it's not round, and it's got sort of this wavy seven side design. It's really cool. Uh, you can see some of the ridges from the raw graphite. It's probably just the most unique looking blank I've ever seen. Then as we move up, you'll see that Loop has put alignment dots on the rod and has finished it with nothing but the absolute best components. So we've got titanium torzite stripping guides followed by titanium snake guides. Only the lightest weight and only the best components from Loop on this new 7X. Now we're gonna take it out in the field and see how it casts. The first thing you notice when you're casting the 7X is how fast the rod recovers. It has the most insane recovery speed of any fly rod I've ever tested, bar none. And that really translates into some exciting breakthroughs in accuracy. Starting at 30 feet, using an MPX line, this medium fast version wasn't the most forgiving rod, but you could still feel how the 7X design offers superior accuracy to a traditional round rod. I was able to hit the target much more consistently than you'd expect from a rod of this speed. Moving back to 45 feet, I felt greater benefits from both the action and the 7X design. I'd say it's probably the absolute most accurate rod I've cast at 45 feet. It was just incredibly easy to hit the target. The medium fast action gives you an incredible range of feel. It's really just the perfect middle distance trout rod. And it'll give you even more advantages on technical waters like Spring Creeks out west where accuracy is paramount. As we move back to our final trout distance of 60 feet, I found that it was easy to overpower the rod. So I had to slow down and lengthen my casting stroke a little bit. But once you do that, the rod is unbelievably accurate. I'd say it's easily one of the top rods I've ever cast and up there with the absolute finest rods at 60 feet. If you're looking for a new all-around trout rod, the Loop 7X definitely needs to be on your list to try out. It's absolutely one of the finest rods made today and without question, the most innovative. Now we're gonna give you our Poseidon score for this rod. Starting with our first category, accuracy. I'm gonna give the Loop 7X uh, a nine and a half out of 10 and in fact, it really could be a 10 out of 10, but I just need to do more comparisons with other rods and see how it does. So you may see an update on that later. In terms of components, Loop really used top-notch stuff here. It's got titanium guides, torzite stripping guides. There's really not a whole lot more you can ask for. So I'm gonna give it uh, a 10 out of 10 in terms of componentry. In terms of distance and power, this is a medium fast rod. It's a great all around trout rod. It's not gonna be the rod that you'll take to your casting competition. So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 in terms of distance. The 7X has a pretty standard reverse half wells. It's comfortable, but nothing special. It gets a six out of 10. In the looks department, the 7X is pretty consistent with other rods made in the same factory in Korea. It's nice, but definitely not as nice as top end rods like Winston and Thomas and Thomas. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 in the looks department. 
The swing weight on the 7X comes in at 64.5 gram meters squared for this nine foot five weight, which is one of the lighter five weights, but definitely not the absolute lightest on the market. In fact, it's about 10% heavier than the true lightest all around five weights. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 for swing weight. In terms of value, the 7X is priced at $950, which is a lot of money for a new fly rod. That said, I felt like the 7X performed better than some of the competition, and I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 for value. Finally, in terms of the cool factor, Loop 7X is super, super innovative. It's like the, absolutely the next greatest thing on the market. Scores super highly in that department. But with that in mind, Loop is not the most well-known brand in the US. And so that probably brings it down to a nine out of 10. That gives the Loop 7X a total Poseidon score of 62.5. The all new Loop 7X retails for $950 and ships with free second day air from tridentflyfishing.com. If you have questions about this rod, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24 seven at support at tridentflyfishing.com. Let us know in the comments if you think a seven sided rod is better than a round rod. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.